today the lord showed me a open vision in that vision i saw two vultures at first and then i saw uh, all together seven vultures five more vultures joined these two the lord really spoke to me prophetically and said the lord is going to bring these vultures into the enemy's camp if you read the bible goliath he intimidated david and these are all the words he used against david and he told david in the first samuel chapter 17 and verse 44 the philistine said to david come to me i will give your flesh to the birds of the air and to beasts of the field then david said to philistines watch this you come with me you come to me with a sword and with a spear and with a javelin but i come to you in the name of the lord this is powerful this is the word of intimidation that enemy uses but god is going to use these ravens against the enemy this is going to be powerful and um, seven ravens and uh, basically um, vultures it's not ravens vultures seven vultures so god showed the seven vultures i keep saying raven but it's vulture i was looking at the scripture seven and also vultures where it is connected gibeonites they avenged against Saul's descendants and uh, there are seven sons of Saul's descendants they were all ravaged by vultures where is it mentioned it is mentioned in the second samuel chapter 21 and verse 6 let seven of his sons be given to us so that we may hang them before the lord at the gibeah of Saul the chosen of the lord and the king said i will give them so this is one of the well this vulture represents god's justice and judgment upon the enemy and enemy's camp and today the lord says that my son my daughter every spirit of intimidation every spirit of control manipulation and every area where goliath spirit is manifesting in the nation vultures are on their way because god is bringing justice and judgment upon those who are against the nation who are against the kingdom of god who are against the purpose of god god has been doing his justice for his people and righteousness being established in the nation judgment for the enemies it's going to be powerful move of god and god confirmed that with multiple other scriptures as well if you look at deuteronomy 28 and verse 26 that is also mention about vultures how the judgment and the justice of god comes against enemy and these vultures are being used today the lord is going to bring forth the justice for you vindication for you establishment for you breakthrough for you deliverance for you your enemy's camp will be flooded with vultures because god wants to defend you protect you he also offend the enemy for the glory of god he goes after and chases after the enemy and cast them out cast them away there is a power of god that is coming upon you today to move forward and press on end of the day it is not goliath who defeated david it is david who defeated goliath lord is going to make you to defeat every obstacle every enemies who are coming against you spiritually speaking and he is going to give you victorious move and the nation level the lord says that you will see vultures are already encamping or surrounding the enemy justice is at hand you will see the greater supernatural move of god it will happen suddenly it's not like gibeonites they did not plan for so long it just happened suddenly someone of saul's son descendants they were completely be eradicated through vultures and uh, this is the justice judgment that came from god and on and on we can read that in the book of proverbs as well we can read about vultures in hosea uh, chapter 8 and verse 1 so there are so many passages that talks about vultures and everywhere it talks about god bringing justice and judgment against the enemies of the nation and enemies of god's people so today it's going to be a very short but it is going to be a powerful move of god you are going to see an extraordinary move of god starting today and it is going to be amazing hallelujah it is going to be powerful i was ministering to someone and uh, god really uh, this is different than vultures i was ministering to someone and uh, god exactly told the word new york city and uh, this is really powerful god told new york city and uh, and god is really bringing a transition to this person i never know but this person who is in a different state visited new york city just recently and has a desire to move on to this place god is a god who is bringing transition i'm releasing this globally 
transition he is bringing to some of you who are really waiting because this happened today god is releasing global transition to many of you waiting to move willing to move to a different place to move on to settle on and another person ministering and god told god is killing the pain in the chest that that person is carrying and immediately that person said 5 years back i had a, a surgery in my chest or like pain in the chest surgery or difficulty treatment in the chest and even today god is releasing a pain free breakthrough for you whatever the uh, elements of sickness that you are carrying today god is releasing a healing anointing hallelujah the sickness enemy is going to take away all the uh plants of the enemies is going to be taken away by the power of god all these vultures that we are talking about are going to be going to the enemy's camp they cannot come against you they are going after the enemy's camp god's power his presence his glory his anointing his provision his providence his grace his resource his breakthrough his open door his financial miracle and supernatural healing sudden settlement establishment empowerment boldness courageousness the lord is releasing upon you you will press on move forward you will march forward and inherit what god has prepared for you no one can take what god has prepared for you the lord says enemy was eating your food but now i'm sending the enemies to eat their own food these vultures are going to eat their food the enemy's camp they are no longer going to be in your camp your camp is preserved your camp is blessed your camp is protected your camp is enriched with abundance it's going to be overflowing milk and honey the lord says that it's going to overflow in your camp and no weapon formed against you shall prosper vulture will hang out with the dead the lord says you are alive in me you are alive in christ you are going to be supernaturally empowered so these vultures are having no other choice but to encircle the enemy's camp that is dead but you are alive you will be walk in the victory and move in the power walk in that glory and you are going to shake the nation the lord says that i will do extraordinary and supernatural things this is the powerful move of god glorious settlement of god and he who started a good work in you he will finish it fulfill it and no one can stop it Lord is bringing divine connections, divine interventions, supernatural settlements, supernatural breakthroughs and you are going to empower God's goodness and witness God's power in this month of November. It is going to be powerful. Be ready. Don't forget to join the Zoom conference this Saturday. It's free and also check out the uh, other conferences in Atlanta, Chicago. It is going to be powerful and glorious. He loves you so much. and uh, check out my uh, store and patreon and uh, youtube channel membership and all of the details everything is in the description below take a look god bless you you are blessed to be a blessing have a blessed night or blessed day amen